What it do, it's your boy Obi Wan Payne, and we back. Now, this is gonna be a real short read, something real simple, man. What is it? Uh, it's, 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 it's Wednesday, so we just we just gonna slow it down on hump day. You know what I'm saying? Chillax, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna bring it all together. You know what I'm saying? We in the middle of the week. We just gonna chill. But this one right here is a must read. Must read. Because what would you do if you had a partner and your partner said, I can't be away from you for a certain amount of time. But you've been without me for a plethora amount of time. Because if I met you when I was 25, you've been without me for 25 years. But now all of a sudden that you're with me, now you can't be without me. Something about that, it ain't adding up. Man, let's get right up into this. I, 27M, got invited to a boys weekend. And my girlfriend, 27F, says she can't be away from me for that long. What can I do to assure her that everything will be fine? A couple of weeks ago, my boss invited all of his employees to come up to his lake house for the weekend. It's about two and a half hours from where I live. My girlfriend keeps saying that she doesn't want me to go because she can't go because she can't be away from me for that long. We have been together for almost four years and in that time have only been apart for four to five days because of a bachelorette party three years ago. I keep on saying that everything will be okay and that she should make it a girl's weekend. I just don't know what to do. I feel like I can't be my own person anymore and I don't know what to do to be able to go on this trip. So that's a red flag. <laughs> if you feel like you can't be yourself, you can't be your own person around the person that you so-called love or been with for three years, that don't seem fishy or funny to you. You should be comfortable as H. F with this girl and she should be comfortable and understand that sometimes a guy needs to be a guy and go out and swim in a dirty lake with his bros sometimes women just need to understand this but instead they don't want to understand this and it was a bachelorette party three years ago for four to five days as y'all was apart she went to that bachelorette party I don't know if you were there but she went because it's a bachelorette party so she can be away from you when it's convenient for her but you can't be away from her when it's not convenient for her. Selfishness. Entitlement. Come on, man. We need to really think about this, man. But that's not what you're here for. You're here because you need a solution to your answers. All right, look. Let me think real quick. Okay, I don't think the reason is truly that she can't be away from you for that long. I think she thinks you up to something scandalous. I think that she thinks it's going to be other girls up there. I think that she thinks that you're a cheater. That's what I'm thinking that she's thinking. So basically, you're asking us, how can you convince her to think that you're not a cheater? Or to trust you enough to think that you're not up there doing stuff with girls? Or to trust you enough to think that other girls are not going to be there? Really, brother, I have no answers for you. This right here is a toughie. This is what you can do. You got one or two options you can do. One, you can go, right? Two, you listen to her and you don't go. Now, these options are all up to you. If I were you, I would choose one. Because if she really loved you, she would have still stayed with you. I mean, take pictures while you're up there. Hey, psh, it's hard that it ain't no girls up there. But the girls can always be in the back behind the phone. Or the girls can be out the camera just enough to where they, she can't see them. But you're not a cheater. You're not there to cheat. You're there to swim in dirty water with your bros. So I don't know what the big diff, what the what, what the big deal is, man. Cause he obviously said, she obviously said, well, you obviously said that for four to five days she was at a bachelor party. So what's wrong with you going for the weekend? This is only two days we're talking about. So she can't be away from you for two days. Think about how crazy that is. Think about the attachment problems that she have and the in the in the in the in the in the in the, the, the stress that this can cause later on in life. You need to evaluate this young lady. You need to factor in these options and 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 and, 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 and these choices. 
while you're with this young lady, okay? Because this is more than just a than just a trip. But I'm not here to give you advice. I'm just here to read you the information that you have given to us today. But what I can say and what I can recommend is we read a comment here and see what somebody else said. We're going to brainstorm off them a little bit. Here we go right here. If she can't trust you enough to do something like this, your relationship won't succeed in the long run. I didn't say it. Deep Thought said that. Now, you listen to Deep Thought. You take a, a, a good long look at your relationship and your life and how she acting about a weekend trip. You think about that. Really uh, analyze the situation. Because I know if I want to do something, who, who's stopping me? <laughs> Nobody. I know, I know, I know, I know. It, 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 if my partner wants to do something, who's stopping her? <laughs> Not me. Because at the end of the day, you are gonna do what you want to do, and, you, and 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 I can't stop it. Nobody else can stop it from you doing what you want to do. <clears throat> Basically, what I'm saying is, if your girl say that she want to do something, it's very little to nothing that you can do or say to stop her. I mean, you probably can, but then she'll feel some type of way about it. You know what I'm saying? So the best bet is to go. Just go, and then she'll either forgive you or she won't. But these are the uh, 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 are, the, are the consequences. She might leave your fucking ass. And now, if you won't, don't want her to leave your fucking ass, then you know what I'm saying. You stay put like a good little boy and stay home. But me, I'm a bad boy. I'm going. That ain't gonna stop me. So while I'm out in the dirty lake with your bros. And you over there hugging up on her. I'm going to be over there keeping my head up. Keeping my bread up. And I will always I'll be fed up. I'm gone. Get it here where I go. Get it here where I go. Cause my city cold. Can't even trust my bro. I might get back down. So as they can see something they want. They gon' get you gone. Them niggas snake you for your pack and hit you for your paw. Only got me, myself, and I in the man.